For 249 years, the United States Navy has been the most powerful Navy in the world. We have delivered power for peace and have always been postured and ready to fight and win as part of the joint force and alongside our allies and partners. We are the sailors and civilians who have answered our nation's call to serve, and we are proud to operate far forward, around the world and around the clock, from the seabed to space, in cyberspace, and in the information environment, to promote our nation's prosperity and security, to deter aggression, and to provide options to our nation's leaders. We are here to preserve the peace, respond in crisis, and win decisively in war, if called. We are America's Warfighting Navy. America has always been a maritime nation. That is as true as it was 249 years ago. Even before our nation's inception, America's Warfighting Navy sailed the globe in defense of freedom. The Navy builds partnerships, strengthens allies, and deters adversaries. From seabed to space, the Navy delivers power for peace always ready to fight and win alongside our allies and partners. Everything we do here at the United States Naval Academy is in the development of war fighters. War fighters that can think critically, quickly, and have the tools inside of them to be able to lead with character and with incredibly great leadership skills. When I think of war fighter, I think about my job. I mean, I work on a warship, and when the war is brought to us, you know, this ship is ready for it. We cannot effectively fight and win wars unless our war fighters, our sailors, are fully focused on the mission. Our job, remove barriers, remove burdens, that they can clearly focus on the mission and commander's intent. Our ultimate duty is to deter and defend against adversaries. To do that, we need to have war fighting advantage. We need to be able to beat our adversaries and they need to know it. We genuinely care about the mission. We want to help fight for the freedom of you know, the citizens of this country because we love it. For me, I contribute to the mission by making sure the planes land and launch in a safe and expeditious way every day and every night. I, I tell my guys all the time, we don't get a chance to practice for real. Every time we go out there, it's live. So either we doing an exercise, or we go, get ready to go on a combat deployment like we've been doing in a couple weeks, we ready to go. It's our sailors. That's the secret weapon we got. I don't think that the American public realizes all the sacrifices that our sailors make on these massive deployments, the sacrifices that uh, they make day in and day out. That was a pretty historic event for me to be the commander of Carrier Strike Group 2 uh, for our epic nine-month deployment. We had no vision when we left uh, how much combat we were going to be exposed to. We shot all variants of weapons uh, from our ships at sea and obviously from our aircraft above, and uh, we did that with lethal precision. The, the ships and the crews, uh, they were able to take out those threats and basically protect not only the ship, but protect each one of the ship. Essentially, whatever the, the enemy could throw at us, we were able to adapt and overcome. Our founding was based on the fundamentals of freedom of navigation and protecting sea lines of communication. Fast forward 249 years later, we were actually involved in the uh, operations that protected those sea lines of communication in the Red Sea. I believe that our sailors are what makes our Navy strong. They are the warfighters behind everything, and they are able to dynamically think in critical situations and are able to think outside of the box and create these tactical solutions 
in those environments. I think the Navy is ready for future threats. We are constantly training, practicing scenarios. That's one of our biggest strengths that we rely on. We're actively training recruits all the time. They're getting some of the best training in the world uh, at A schools and C schools. And our technology just keeps advancing all the time. So I think the Navy is 100% is ready to take on any, any threat. Our Navy is the strongest fighting force because of our ability to adapt. The world is rapidly changing, but the Navy continues to find innovative methods to sustain superior warfighting excellence. Well, currently I'm a recruit division commander, and our primary goal to support the mission is to ensure that we send out basically trained, physically fit sailors to the fleet. I am really proud to be a part of America's Navy today because we are at the cutting edge of all of the new technologies and capabilities on board our warships. We are ready to fight and we are ready to win. Over the last 249 years, the United States Navy has become the most powerful maritime force on Earth. We operate forward, protecting our nation's interests, defending the rules-based international order, and promoting peace. We have a rich legacy of warfighting excellence made possible by you, our warfighters. Each of you, our active and reserve sailors and our Navy civilians, play a critical role in America's warfighting Navy. You are our true secret weapon. The strength of our Navy lies in our people, our sailors, civilians, and their families. Your dedication, sacrifice, and commitment is why America's Navy remains a beacon of hope for so many around the world. This year, our Navy displayed its power as a global force. From deterring Houthi aggression in the Middle East, to strengthening alliances in the Baltics, to building partnerships and trust in the Indo-Pacific and South America. Our number one job is deterrence, but we should always be ready to fight and win should that deterrence fail. And this year, we have demonstrated that naval power is and will continue to be an essential element of our national security. And I know, moving forward, that we will continue to defend the rule of law, the freedom of the seas, and the American way of life. We are honored to serve alongside you, witnessing your courage and your unwavering commitment to the mission. And we could not be more proud of our Navy team and what you do every single day. I look forward to celebrating our 250th birthday with you next year. This decisive moment demands the effort, focus, resolve shown since the birth of our Navy. And I thank you for answering the call to service to our great nation. So from all of us to you, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs>